Hi my friends and welcome back to episode 7 of my C-Map gameplay of Factory Town. I'm Icon and we're going to explore a couple of new things today. So my plans for this episode are I want to dive into the production of metal rails and iron wheels. And the other thing I had in mind was I wanted to check out the productions of that medicine hut because that was what I unlocked at the end of the last episode. But for now, I, I want to set up this new ironworks here. And my plan was to do something bigger than the last time. So basically, I want to replicate something like I, I did here, but only in a more accessible way, like... Uh, here we already had that uh, production array quite good. I want to, I want to make it a little bit better still. Let's see how well I can do. So things I discovered lately: you can't eliminate water if you want to. This is quite crazy because it basically eliminates the necess necessity of uh, of bridges. But well, it's okay, I'd say. This game is very sandboxy, never, uh, uh, anyways. So, we're going to build a mine here, and we're going to go go with the conveyors here. But wait a sec, we only need to conveyor once, and I'm pretty sure that ore, yeah, ore can be easily chewed or cold in that regard. So, we gotta be connecting it somewhere like that. I want, I want to avoid heights wherever I can. So, well, we're going to run like that. Ugh. I don't know if I can have them double layered like that and still work like this. Don't know. Maybe I need just need to uh, use a splitter or something like that. Well, hey, okay, you little. So that's what's happening there. Okay. Mm, there we go. So now we got that coal we need. Then we're going to need wood stone and iron so there's a lot of materials involved in that the stone will be particularly challenging so probably probably it would have been smarter to use to use wood as a fuel resource here anyway let's research machinery in between and unlock that machine shop we're going to need maybe i'll need to craft something for that machine shop anyways so probably oh no i i did all the precautions huh. okay so here we can create gears and iron wheels and metal rails but we have to research that first we're going to have to use wood rails for that i see well i can remember that i did produce wood rails somewhere at the end of the world so here we did produce the gear wheels. Didn't I? Didn't I have to use uh, produce uh, here? Here they are. So I highly doubt that I will be able to move that in a in a mentally healthy way down there. So nope. Okay. So that means we're going to have to produce the wooden rails and we're going to have to produce metal. Right? Right. So that ain't that hard, I guess. So we're going to get that done. First thing I want to see done is that forester we're going to need for this job. So well maybe i'll even gonna put it down here 
yeah, that, that would be okay. Let's just delete that up and above, I'd say. Or, well... So... What the hell are these guys producing? They're producing wooden rails. Wait a sec. But where are you outputting it then? Into that barn where I got a surplus of wooden rails. Huh! Okay. So, um... Good stuff. I don't need to do any of these. Ha! Huh. Wonderful. Gotta say, I... Totally forgot about that, but, well... Nice. Let's just uh, do the work and extract that. Accordingly. So that we can use that. So I'll need to put this... Well... Ah, well, we're going to bridge it over here. I guess that's the easiest part. Okay, so... Let's see... I really like that once you have understood how to lay foundations for constructions like these, it starts getting easier and easier. So, we can already get that done, but obviously we are technology locked. So, metal railway technology, here we go. Okay, nice. So, oh my god, I'm so stupid. It's actually a coal deposit. I always thought that was an iron deposit. Well, then, then everything is... Uh, Completely okay. Alright, so we're going to need to produce iron plates here. It's the same business as before. So, luckily I still have that forge. So, we're going to just uh, shoot that material in there. And get the job done. Oh god, I hate it. So... That won't work either. So, why can't I just build a chute there? Ah, here. Need to rotate it twice, then it works out as intended. Okay, wonderful. So, we're going to put down the mine. Oh, wait a sec. Ah, Realize that the forester here will need that stuff. Well gonna replant some of those trees for him we're going to put down another mine here to uh, get that iron ore flowing so there we go and that should do the trick awesome really like how easy uh, pr uh, processes work by now so Here's the thing. By now, I think... Well... Shouldn't we be using rails at this point? That's what I was wondering. You know... Allows movement of rail cars. Slow but steady. So... Let's see. Car... Rail? No. Where for... Ah, here. Rail cars. So, a wooden mine card. There we go. But at the same time, well... I don't think that the, the distance is that insanely high already to... to justify... the usage of a rail. I don't know, I don't think so. So, we're going to uh, output the, the ingots there. So, let's see. We got two things to do. For one, we got to produce iron wheels. That can be done down there. The metal rail recipe, well... <laughs> so you can input the raw materials of the wooden rail to get the same result. That's cool. It's 
actually really, really cool. So the actual problem seems now only to be that we're going to need metal ingots up here, or we're going to need the rails down there either way. So we don't have any stone deposit here. I don't think that's uh, there's anything hidden down there. Let's see, mining overlay? No, no, no. So that won't work either. Well, let, let's go for the obvious things first. Let's, let's produce those wheels. So I want to put a barn in between though because I really want to uh, distribute the metal bars that we're producing a little bit, a little bit uh, further, if you want to say so. Okay. So now we can, of course, just uh, put a splitter here in between. So here we go. Let's rotate that building. And really important here is I want two of these deactivated. Ah, well, maybe all three. I don't want more than one stockpile there. I just want to use this as a distribution center because the, the forge is not that accessible. And I also, well, I could supply more than one forge with that, I'm just saying. That's at least what I have in, uh, in my mind here. So, iron wheels. We're going to output them over here into the barn. So, here we go. So, we got that production flowing now. So, for the other part, well... I don't like either of these options, but it's just a matter, matter of fact. I don't have any stone here in the vicinity, and I can't change that. So either I move the resource, or I don't. So we're, we're going to move the resource, I'd say. The real problem here is that this will cost a lot of... a lot of material here, so... Getting the job done conveyor belt wise will will keep me busy for a while, but I'll pay that price. So we're going to get that done by well, passing through here. I mean, we're 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 slowly getting the job done. I'm going to do this off camera so you don't have to wait until the conveyor belts have been crafted. Now then, I put down a couple of extra conveyors, and we got all the stuff we need now pre-produced. So, we're going to get another machine shop down here, and it's gonna be looking like that. So now we got the progression production down, and I think that's gonna be awesome. I will leave that on a slow burn, if you might want to say so. I, I don't think that I need an insane uh, productivity here on that one. It's going to be okay. If this all works rather slowly. I mean, as I see here, this whole procedure is being slowed by the low output of ore. So, let's probably up update that uh, a little bit. And I'll just have another connection of uh, metal rails going that way. And just like I thought, this uh, would be... This is a pretty simple production chain. And the best part about that is, at some point, I'll have the rails done. And... Wait a sec. I overwritten something. At some point, I'll have the, the rails done and... I'll have the, uh... yeah, sorry, confusion, here, iron plate, it's not a bar, it's a plate, um, so I, I have the basics for the uh, bigger mining carts down now, that's what I was trying to say, because a uh, metal mine cart needs iron wheels and iron plates, 
and we have all that pre-production down now which is awesome so that that's been all i wanted to do here for now so okay obviously the forge is now supplied enough uh, has now enough ore i really need to start calculating the work unit uh, ratios and such because you know it, it should be quite easily uh, computable I, I just didn't take the time yet to do so right now i'm still in that phase where i'm mostly discovering how everything works and it's awesome <laughs> okay so i'll just let that low here for a while maybe we're going to add in more workers until that's no longer an issue but in between let's build a medicine hut and check out what we can do there recipe wise so i was really looking forward to that one so we can create bandages poultice remedy and fish oil so here we go the bandage yield is the first item that yields blue coin and it can be created out of cloth the poultice needs bandages and set yields even more blue coin so it's yet another of these processes where i can't decide whether i'll be selling the raw product or i'm waiting for the the bigger price so you know what we're going to do that so the first thing we're going to need is a apothecary which does actually buy all buy and distribute all that stuff so here it is already quite challenging because you know i need access to that town and at the same time i need access to my logistics so well that's that's a little bit unfortunate here and i'm actually starting to consider to just pick up my town center i got here and move it down here because the blue coin i'll earn will be yeah let's do this i like that idea the blue coin i'll earn will be uh, automatically uh booked into my bank i don't need to worry about that so we're yeah we're, we're doing it now so that's going to be the first official or no the first official second town that sounds weird uh it's going to be definitely the f the first time that i'm going to go for a a second town that's that's definitely a thing so we're going to build now or pick up that medicine hut and we're going to uh, put it down somewhere here i don't know yet where i'm going to use it ultimately we're going to need two of those because i actually want to go for the poultice right away maybe i'll do both let's see so let's see this place here is well okay do i let any of these run through a barn no i don't so there's no necessary discussion about that so this whole cotton field here is uh, artificial anyway so the question i'm asking myself is do i connect myself here and pick that cotton there as well i think that's the easiest way of that's definitely more efficient than setting up a new cotton farm okay so let's see how quickly i can build these by now i think i've learned a lot and I also think that I'm only starting out. That's really lovely. So here we go. There's the cotton. We're going to need yet another workshop. Wait a sec, didn't I? Yeah, that was a workshop. There is one. Let's just pick that one up and craft us some cloth. Ooh, there we go. So this is going to be a very, very simple production chain there great pull to the bandage there so well ideally i'd like to sell and 
and produce more of that, you know. Let's see how we can do that. So we're going to need for the poultice herbs. So here was my thought, you know. We'll only need something like that and a splitter. And there we go. <laughs> I start to learn how to use these uh, things more uh, more effectively. So that one was optically tricking me. And here we go. So probably probably the best thing to do for me would be to uh To go for another medicine hut for the poultice production or well so i mean output wise yeah it's all gonna be easier to build up a second medicine hut there here we go so we're just going to uh increase the uh production here a bit Obviously, we need that. So, do these fields... Okay, even without water, they would be... Oh no, they, they got water. Okay, never mind. I was wondering if these farm tiles need actually water to work better or not. So, we're going to... I'm pretty sure this uh, building now will just do the same as all buildings did in this game so far. He's going to uh, prefer left and uh, get to go 50-50. So, I think that's going to be okay. Now, let's go for the... Uh, was it the off area? There we go. So, well, we're going to string the apothecary in somewhere here. And let's go. All right. Here goes blue coin, my friends. And let's see. So if I'd be able to connect more buildings to that one, I'd be getting an upgrade. So let's see. I want to try out something. Does this count? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, directly connected to the town center are these. Let's check out the other town center. School, general store, farm. You see, the, the, there's a farm connected. Which one is that? Can I check that? So, I'm, I'm just wondering. How this uh, connection thing actually is uh, working there. So there's a, there's this green radius. And that's the radius where stuff is counting. But why is that radius here a lot smaller than here? Okay. So, wait a sec now. Okay. It's counting the upgrades there, too. I'm still a little bit confused about these mechanics. Like, why do these... Uh, why are the Forester and uh, those not connected there? Does uh, bringing more footpaths... Yes, it does, actually. It does. So, now the Forester is connected, too and the medicine hood so yeah okay so this spreads along streets but i just realized it spreads along streets it doesn't need to directly connect doesn't it so i'll increase my spread there as well interesting 
Oh yeah, but uh, for the next town center upgrade, I'll need those blue coins I'm gaining here. Ha! Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So... This place is not producing as efficient as it could, but I'm not too surprised about that. So, Remedy is made out of herbs and fuel, so we're going to provide that as well. And I'll have to uh, put up a, a second farm here, and we're going to industrialize our, uh, our herb production here a bit. So, let's bring up a well. And here we go. So we're going to water these beasties a bit. Because I do plan to uh, to do a lot here. Okay, so we got all that, and now we're going to need some fuel for these happy little critters. So where do I get fuel from, I might ask myself. I guess I'll just uh, ask the forester. So... Does this actually work? Yeah, they're just building platforms on top of that. Awesome. Oh man, I like I like how a lot of these things here work. So can build on uneven terrain. So that's where where I where it doesn't work anymore, huh? Okay, too bad. So we're going to have to just uh you know make sure that there ain't no river anymore. Because like these uh, God Simulator games way, way back when. Because I need access to that wood here. That's really important. So here we go. Can't build an uneven terrain. Oh crap. So I, I overdid it, huh? This is something I still struggle with. But only because I'm inexperienced. So. But now it should work. Okay. So we're going to bring... The wood down here. Uh, up here, I wanted to say. So. We're just going to shoot it. So here we go. And another medicine hut. We're going to output our stuff over there. And leak that chewed a little bit over there. Here we go. there. And... Remedy goes there. Oh, it's, it also needs water. Oh, okay. That's not a problem either. Okay, so now this place is fully set up. Nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Unlike Factorio, this game gives you vibes of uh, living off the land and uh, with the land and, and, and not destroying it, you know. Got a, you get a much more wholesome vibe from this game compared to Factorio, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so now our little houses here are growing happier and happier, which is great. And also I'm gaining more and more blue coin, but let's see. Are these a little, uh, yeah, that's what I expected. They are getting uh, massively oversupplied there. Shoot. They can't consume as quickly as we provide, and therefore we got to find 
we got to find workarounds. So the easiest workaround is simply adding more houses. I got a civics research open. Let's use that. This will increase the total amount of houses I can I can bring up here by four. So that'll help us to some degree because you know it's just more consumers. But I'm pretty sure that even more houses will have trouble to with consuming all the goods that we got here. So it might be about time considering, let's see, if I drop a food market down here, <laughs> look at that. So I could provide food for this little cluster down here by distributing it from up here. Let's see, that could be an option. Or, well, we'll just accept that our blue coin production is just a little bit slow. I mean, at some point, I will have access to more houses. Let's see. As soon as I have 500 coins, I can upgrade my town center to level, to another level. And... Oh, the town center upgrade... Increases the maximum amount of houses, I, I, I thought. But... Obviously, it doesn't. Well, we could actually also spend a couple of uh, extra bucks and spread a couple of roads out there. Let's see if that does anything for, for the town center's uh, connections. Doesn't look like it does, though. Hmm. Well, I think I'll just need to be patient because when that thing gets another upgrade, I'll get, I should get another housing upgrade and, well, as soon as there are enough consumers around here, oh no, I don't get more houses. Ah, the highest town center level is determining it. That's, that's how this works, so. Here I only get more inventory slots, I guess. Okay. We're going to get to the next tech level here as well. So advanced logistics, agent trigger, inventory sensor. Okay, so here we can go really crazy. Jewelry. Intermediate medicine. Deep mining. Oh yeah, deep mining. That's the technology that I'd like to have. Harvest a drill. Okay. Well, let's see. Research wise, well, the harvest a drill can be can be already researched. So there's a lot of new things that we can go for now. Among these is a new tier two nature knowledge book. And we have to produce 50 antidotes and 50 metal conveyor belts. It's going to be an interesting job. So since I already got a little bit of a metal production down there, I think it would be a great idea to uh, to get the, the metal conveyor belt production done down here. And once that's done, I can finally annihilate this production chain here. This is going to be really good because this is pretty much blocking a lot of my a lot of my plans there. And as soon as I will produce iron or metal conveyor belts, I don't really think that I'll need the cloth conveyor belts that uh, belts that badly anymore. But let's see, probably I will, but then I'm going to store some freshly produced ones down here instead. It's all more efficient. Okay, so let's get another look at the apothecary. So, well, we're only over providing poultice. The other materials are actually, well, we have a happy supply for all of those, but the active cons consumption there, as you see, we're not producing too many of those at this point, which is good. It's a good indicator. Okay, my dear friends, so we're we're getting there. I'm really tempted to just uh, 
build up another supply chain for this little town center here just because <laughs> no, no particular reason just because i can because these poor people they don't have any food this game is taking me places and i like that so what we're going to do before i leave this episode is i'm going to build purchase new new map tiles here so they cost 500 yellow coins and let's see i wanted to check mana shards okay i wanted to check if there were any any particularly interesting materials anywhere there food or or something like that sugar sugar is actually interesting we haven't had sugar that would be actually a good uh, a good excuse to build my first railway and try out how these work so there's an air temple they produce air crystals if i provide them with air ether okay one day maybe we're gonna be getting there but not today so thank you so much for watching next episode like i said there's a couple of things that i have on my mind i guess i will for sure dive deeper into te new technology technology layers and let's see i mean there's literally more stuff to do than than i find space for i, I wonder if factory town is one of those games where you hardly will be able to research or hardly be able to do everything that the game offers you in one run until you're done or well you know right now it feels as if i have so many options that I don't even need to go down all the paths the game offers me. Like, there are so many different foodstuffs you can produce. I highly doubt that I have to produce them all, but who knows? Maybe Endgame Madness for the happiness will make me do it. I don't know it yet. So, drop your comments down below. Maybe you know already more than me. And leave a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed. And last but not least, consider subscribing. I'd be really, really happy to see you there. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.